Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about the two built-in functions available in Python, that is ORD function and CHR function. So ORD and CHR. So before going to this, we know that uh, every character uh, is represented with an ASCII value. So we know these ASCII values, right? So capital A, the ASCII value for capital A is uh, 65 and uh, small a starts with 97, right? And this ASCII value is a string encoding format string encoding format similar to this ascii value we are also having a one more string encoding format called unicode unicode so this unicode this unicode is a superset of ascii superset of ascii right so that means in the unicode also the character will be representing with a numerical value but a more number of characters can be represented by using unicode value and the ascii value represents only 256 characters it can represent only 256 okay ascii value but a unicode can represent a multiple number of values and here one common thing is in the unicode also in unicode value also the same values will be there a it is 65 and small a it is a 97 right so all that 256 values which are given for the ascii values the same will be appeared in the unicode also apart from these there will be a more number of characters represented in this unicode right so that's why we call unicode is a superset of ascii so all the values are same for unicode and ascii so now these functions ORD function and CHR function is used to find the ASCII value for a given character and character for a given ASCII value. See, I will implement and I will show you. So let us take the character some CH is equal to, I will take some uh, input, okay, input, enter. character to find corresponding ASCII or Unicode Unicode value because so here the default string encoding format in Python is Unicode okay default string formatting uh, a string uh, for, uh, encoding format right so CH is equal to input enter character to find the corresponding Unicode value and simply you can print it by using ORD of CH. So we have to pass one argument for ORD. So ORD will take only one argument. So that argument should be a length one. That is most important. That argument should be a length one and it should be a character. Right. So for example, if you execute this one, so I'll, I'll give capital A. So we'll get the ASCII value or a Unicode value for the given A is 65. So example, if you give two characters A, B, we'll get an error. See, type error. ORD expected a character, but the string of length two found. So a character means a single length is one. So if, if the string length is one, we can call it as a character. So this ORD function will accept only the character. That means the length of string one. So you can take any 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 value so i'll take is equal to i'll get an ascii value for this is equal to if i take some zero i will get an ascii value for zero so that means the character should be only one and vice versa that means if you want to give the unicode value and find the character the same thing we'll use with a different function that is chr function so chr so small letters 
chr followed by unicode unicode so here you, you will take a unicode and uh, take the integer value so it will take the integer value so enter unicode value to find a corresponding character so here the input is unicode and the output will be the character so let us take a unicode as a 65 i'll get the unicode value character a let us take some hundred so unicode is d i'll take some thousand so unicode character is some symbol right so we are having a lot of uh, unicode unicode values and uh, you can find out the corresponding characters for this particular unicode so for that we are using the chr function we are using the chr function and to this chr function we need to pass the unicode so for ord function we need to pass the single character right so this these two functions are used to convert the unicode to character and a character to unicode so to find the corresponding unicode with the character and character for the corresponding unicode right so hope you understood this one and if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much